Hey guys, today I'm doing a Five Below makeover. I've never done one of these before, but basically I'll be taking stuff from Five Below and giving it a makeover. Pretty self-explanatory. Exactly like it sounds. Yeah. So, the first thing I picked up was this portable lap desk. It's nice and sturdy. It looks like wood, but it's actually not wood. I wish it would be wood, but whatever. It's only five bucks. It's fine, it's fine. It comes with a pillow backing to keep things comfy. I'm just gonna move these tags and non-necessities out of the way. The pillow's making things wobbly. So now I'm moving to the back to remove the pillow backing. Luckily, it's just Velcroed on there. It's not wood. Yep, that's not wood. I don't know if paint would actually stick to it, so I'm just prepping the surface with Mod Podge. Lots and lots of Mod Podge. After several layers of that, I started caressing the lap desk. It feels so bumpy. Good, texture will help the paint stick better. I went over it all with some gesso to further prime the surface, in hopes that my paint really adheres to this thing. Now that that's all done, I'm ready to actually paint on this lap desk. I chose a cute, charming black color. It's not black. It's actually a brooding, bleak, dismal, dark blue. It's my fiance's favorite color. She's a Scorpio, so makes sense. I think I'm joking. I initially painted it a dark blue, and then I went in and highlighted some areas with a slightly lighter, but still just as dismal I'm blue. Joking. I'm going for a dark and stormy, beautiful starry night vibe. <laughs> All right, focus. Ooh, ah. So here it is, four hours later, my masterpiece. I'm doing a little sketching with pencil. That's barely showing up. Moving on to plan B. We're bringing in the dreaded colored pencils. The white colored pencil is actually showing up, so that's nice. If you've been loyal to the dark side, you can probably already tell that this is a drawing, a very, very rough sketch of Boo Boo and Honey. Some of you have taken to lovingly referring to Boo Boo as Bobo. Bobo. That's a lovely pronunciation, but her name's actually Boo Boo, just like her namesake, Honey Boo Boo. Honey, Boo Boo? Honey and Boo Boo? See what I did there? Boo Boo and Honey are two of my original characters. They've been around for a while now. Oh, it's actually only been a year. I feel like they've been around forever. They're basically baby ogres. Boo Boo has biting tendencies. Honey's a little scared of her, to be honest. But they're both a happy little couple. Boo Boo's like a light blue color. I would say like an aqua blue. I'm using Posca paint pens, my weapon of choice. They would never let me down. Or so I thought, until today. My Poscas are making things look a bit streaky. I even took a close-up shot, trying to be all aesthetic and satisfying and whatnot. Though the streaky paint job left much to be desired. Honey and Boo Boo have like big bulging eyeballs that are like popping out of their heads. I like how disproportional and wonky they look. I think it makes the characters look extra crazy and distinctly evil. Keeping in line with Boo Boo's biting tendencies, today Boo Boo is biting <coughs> Honey's face. It's supposed to be a kiss. A little peck on the cheek. When I sketched everything out, things were looking real creepy cute. I was happy with it. But the more I worked on Boo Boo, the less it looked like Boo Boo. This hot mess doesn't look anything like Boo Boo. This is Bobo. Meet Bobo. <laughs> she likes to wear blue lipstick and she has a bit of a double chin situation going on. Bobo's face is just looking too lumpy. What's wrong with you, Bobo? I don't want to look at Bobo anymore. But we have to. Because I keep going. Mama didn't raise no quitter, though I must admit, sometimes you just gotta know when to quit. I just keep on keeping on. Oh my gosh, a close-up of Bobo. I probably should have left this out. She's disturbing, but I kind of find that funny. My sense of humor is broken. <laughs> Things just progressively get worse from here for Bobo. So I'm just gonna skip to Honey. Honey always just looks a little terrified of Boo Boo. Today he's experiencing some extra horror. Because Bobo showed up out of nowhere. The poor guy just can't catch a break. Imagine turning around to this little surprise. I don't think I'd ever be the same. While I was painting Honey, I was very distracted by this whole House of Horror situation going on. Not gonna lie, I was a little sad. This is meant to be a little customized laptop desk for my 
my fiance. Dark blue is her favorite color, and she loves Honey and Boo Boo. She relates to Boo Boo. Honestly, she is Boo Boo. I just felt a little bad that she'd be ending up with Honey and Bobo instead. This situation has got to be rectified. I know she won't forgive me for this. Uh-uh. Luckily for me, Honey actually looks like Honey, so that's a win in my book. For those of you who might not know, Honey and Boo Boo slash Bobo have little green splatters around their mouths. It's meant to be like slime. Since they're ogres, they spend a lot of their time playing in slimy slump wa- slump. <laughs> Swamp water. So that's what this stuff is. Now back to Bobo. Clearly there's something not quite right with her. So I tried pinpointing the problem areas. I thought maybe it's the eyes. She has the signature eyelids that I like to draw, but the eyeballs themselves look a little worried or something. Boo Boo is fearless. She's aggressive. She's never really scared of anything. So I redid the eyes. Did that fix the problem? Not really. No. Maybe if I set the mood, add some glowing stars in the night sky. Maybe if I'm lucky, it'll keep people from looking at Bobo. No. Taking a closer look at this, clearly Bobo's got to go-go. Get out of here, Bobo. You're not welcome here anymore. I'm exercising you. There's no saving Bobo at this point. And let's be honest, I don't want to save her. This time around, things improved significantly. No double chins or blue duck lips in sight. Bobo has left the building. There's just one tiny problem. The thing about Poscas is I feel they're best for smaller details and smaller characters. Larger areas are better off being painted with, like, traditional acrylic paint. So Boo Boo's looking a bit streaky. I didn't show it on camera, but I did paint in Boo Boo with some acrylic paint to make some of that streakiness go away. All that's left to do is varnish the whole thing. I went over it all with some glossy varnish. I like how the shine gives it a real finished look. There it is. A custom little Honey and Boo Boo laptop lap desk. I say little, but it's actually huge compared to the lap desk my fiance currently uses. Plenty of space for drinks or phones or cats. I think she'll appreciate that. Anyways, enough of that. I also happened to pick up a floppy rainbow sloth while I was at Five Below. A lot of people have asked me to do a plushie makeover. I always pretend I didn't see those comments because I have no idea how to go about that. Some people are confident in their makeover abilities, and they can go in on the plushie directly with paint and change the whole vibe. I am not that brave. I feel like I would just ruin the whole plushie. And then there goes my whole five bucks. And the cute and cuddly sloth friend. Sorry, I just can't. So instead I figured I'd add a bunch of removable accessories, mainly with felt. The goal is to make it so that if I don't like the outfit I can just take it off and it's not stuck on there forever. I plan on dressing the sloth up as the tutu witch. Some sort of weird out of season Halloween party or something. I would have sewn some clothes but I don't know how to sew and I didn't really feel like learning today, so I'm just using an alternative method, which I'll get to. But right now I'm just eyeballing and cutting shapes out. I cut out two rectangles. They're going to be like the tutu witch's tights. The main reason I picked this sloth out was because of his long legs. I thought they'd look real pretty in the tutu witch's striped tights. I'm recreating the stripes with some purple fabric paint. I originally tried to brush it on there, but I ended up finding it easier to just glob it on with the bottle. I did use some Posca to just kind of plan out the stripes a bit. They're not perfectly even, but they're close enough. Obviously, I need something to adhere the clothes to the sloth. I thought Velcro was a good option, because it's pretty easy to just cut and glue onto the felt. It's a bit of a tight fit, but honestly, it looks better than I expected. I've never made doll or plushy clothes before, but I'd say I'm a natural. I give myself an A+. After Bobo, I need this validation. Good job. I also attempted to make a witch's hat out of felt. I don't know how, but here we are. I basically just cut out a circle and then threw together a cone shape and just shoved the two together. Tried to make them stick. Oh, that's cute. How'd you do that? Sheer talent. That's how. The tutu witch's hat is one of those bendy hats. It's not perfectly pointy, so I tried giving it that shape. To hide some of the hot glue globs, I made a little purple stripe to go around the hat's rim. Perfect. I'd say it's acceptable. After Bobo, let me have this one. If you don't like it, I don't want to hear it. Let me just have Good this jab. one. Okay, bringing back the tights. Like I mentioned, I don't know how to sew. I'm just sticking on some Velcro. So instead of traditional tights, these are going to be more like 
thigh high socks without the feety part, but it's fine. The tutu witch's signature purple tutu will cover everything up. For the tutu, I basically just wrapped a string around the sloth and tied some purple mesh strips around it. Sounds simple, but don't let this fool you. It was mildly agonizing. I never want to ever make a tutu again. From this day forward, no new characters will ever wear a tutu. I need to stick to painting on things. It does look kinda cute though. I'll give it that. Now all that's left to do is assemble her wardrobe. The sloth's looking a little bald. The tutu witch wears a long white wig, so I felt that was a necessary addition. Would you like to have a nice full head of hair? Yes, please. I don't know if anyone remembers when I first made the original Tutu Witch. I tried adding a wig and this is kind of exactly how things turned out. It was terrible. I don't recommend you watch that video. With that being said, here he is. Little floppy, cuddly rainbow sloth, dressed up as the Tutu Witch. Bye bye. What is that I hear? Is that... Is that... Bobo? Click on the top right or bottom left if you think Bobo is a mess.